What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel or of course welcome if you are new. Um, today's video is the best video that I think I've probably ever filmed my YouTube channel because it's it's a long time coming and I am extremely excited for this video. So if you've clicked onto this video and you've not seen my face before but you've clicked because of the title, um, hi. I'm Finn. I normally post about makeup, hair, fashion, hauls, stuff like that. Um, and I am diving into a whole new range of things to re record about and film and I am so, so buzzing. So, as you guys can see in the title, today's video is what we've all been waiting for. I said to you guys, I had a video coming up, I had stuff coming up, stuff was happening, and it was gonna be happening soon, and what is happening? So, on the 30th of this month, in two weeks time, I am gonna be doing my CBT, which is the compulsory basic training, in order to ride a motorbike. I've wanted to do this since I was about 15, 16. I really, really wanted a bike when I was younger. I was never allowed one, because they're dangerous, <laughs> but, um. I am an adult now, fully fledged, and I'm buying a motorbike. So the bike that I am really, really hoping to get is the Honda CB125F, uh, the 2021 facelift, which is 11 kilograms lighter than the last one, not that that matters. Obviously, I haven't bought the bike yet because I'm yet to do the CBT, but what I have bought for the CBT is all of my bike stuff. Now, because of COVID, the CBT centre I'm, I'm going to, and most of them now, don't actually lend you the helmet, the jacket, the gloves, etc. because of hygiene. So I've had to go out, I've spent a lot of money, I've bought my own stuff. And today, I am just gonna show you everything I've bought, and I'm gonna put it all on, so you can see. Um, I look like a stormtrooper with it all on, and it is freaking awesome, so. Without further ado, if you want to see my motorbike gear that I'm super excited for, then please keep on watching. This is the most expensive haul I have ever done for YouTube. I would really appreciate it if you, if you could just hit the like button because hopefully I might get some of the money back if people watch the video. You never know. I don't know. Um, now I've said that, I'm probably going to get like 10 views. It's all good. I will. Salavi. There is the bag that it came in with the logo. Um, I'm trying to figure out how am I going to show you this stuff. You know it was a serious shopping trip when you have receipts that are the length of your arm. I've got everything that I think is pretty much essential for beginners, except a back protector, which I will be getting, but I just don't have it today. So let's start from the beginning. First thing I picked up is my jeans. So I actually, I, I didn't want leathers. I don't want, I don't like them really. They really do suit some people, but to me, it just reminds me of an action man. It's not my, it's not the look I'm going for. So I picked up some jeans. Now the difference between these jeans and normal jeans is that these have got a Kevlar lining. If you don't know, Kevlar is a material, it's actually called Aramid but Kevlar is like the copyright name for, as far as I'm aware I think um, and yeah so these are really like tough so if I come I say if so when I fall off the bike because it will inevitably happen at some point um, when I fall off the road rash won't be able to like get through the Kevlar very easily so I'd rather rip the hole in the denim and not in my skin so as brutal as that sounds, that's why I've got these. But so, they're the ones that I picked up. These are the Red Root Becky skinny fit jeans. They are genuinely skinny. They look like regular normal jeans. However, the yellow stuff on the back is the Kevlar. Anything else is just denim. So these I picked up because they're relatively cheap. They're £100, which, yeah, it's a re relatively cheap for Kevlar jeans, to be completely honest. But um, I also got them because they fit perfectly. They literally fit like average skinny jeans. Um, and then on the kneecaps, you also have these like protecty things. So hopefully when I fall off, I won't smash my knee in half. Um, that would be great. But yeah, you can also take these kneecaps out. Um, there you go. So got myself some Kevlar jeans. Moving on. Next up, let's talk boots because 
I am extremely excited about these. I wasn't gonna buy these, then I tried them on in the shop, and of course they're more expensive than what I wanted to pay, but they're so comfortable that I just couldn't, I couldn't turn them down. The boots I've gone for are the Alpinstar SMX6 boots. Um, these retail for nearly 200, but I actually got them for 150, um, but that's what they look like. They are proper, proper boots. Um, they have the little slidey things here. I don't really know what that was for. I really, really like the front. The theme I'm going for is black and white anyway because the bike itself is black and white. Um, so yeah, and then on the side, so on the side you have your little zip. The zip itself also has Velcro to attach itself to the inner piece of Velcro. And then you also have this massive thick bit of Velcro here, which keeps it all like locked in and safe and secure. These are so comfortable, I cannot, I wish I could wear these all the time. They are so freaking comfy. Let's talk jackets. <laughs> Everything is so heavy by the way. Um, literally, I, when I put it all on, I felt like a mushroom. I don't why, why am I, why did I feel like a mushroom? What did I feel like? I did feel like a mushroom. I don't know how best to explain that. Like. So, moving on to jackets, I struggled a little bit. There was one jacket in there that I really wanted. It was leather, but it had a mark on the back. I didn't really want the mark, so, and they didn't have my size. And I think female shopping is really, really difficult. I think male shopping is actually really easy. They do it all by inches. Um, female shopping, I'm anywhere between a six and a 12. It doesn't matter where I go. It's all completely skew with. So the jacket I picked up was not female in the end. It's a small male jacket but it's still really nice. I picked up an RST textile jacket. Um, I got textile instead of leather. One, because it is a lot cheaper, and two, because from what I've heard, leather really does boil you in the summer. Well, some people say it's better because you have more vents and stuff. But yeah, I picked up the RST one. That's what it looks like on the front, and on the back it's just, I really like the logos, to be honest. They're not out there really in your face. They're just quite like, they're quite polite. <laughs> You've got the neck Velcro zip i also really like this bit so on the arm i'll try and show you on the arm you have like a popper so you can if you need extra space you can make it bigger or smaller there's the inside of the jacket so there's my segment to put in a back protector if i want one which i will be getting they're about 30 quid um you also have a zip along the bottom inner piece now you have the zip because you can get trousers that zip to the jacket in this jacket i also have some little elbow things and i have some shoulder things as well just in case i fall um so yeah i really really like this and at the end of this video i will put everything on and i will show you i promise but i really really like this jacket and it wasn't that expensive I'm adamant that I paid £90 for this, £89.99, for a proper solid jacket. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. I'm going to show you my gloves now, and then my last thing I'll show you is my helmet, because my helmet is sick. So the gloves I picked up are the Frank Thomas ones. So as I said, my theme, I'm going for black and white, so I picked up these gloves, which are the black and white with the Frank Thomas logo up here. The only thing I had that I really, really wanted about the gloves was that I wanted the carbon fibre on the knuckles because obviously the first thing, if you fall over, the first thing to go down is your hands. I wanted a bit more protection around my knuckles just in case. They have little teeny tiny vents as well in the, um, like the finger knuckle bits here, like these little tiny vents for air. I think it's adorable. Um, and then if we just pop them on, I'll show you. So that is what they look like on. I also like, there's a gap in the fabric here. Um, it doesn't go the whole way. The gap doesn't go the whole way, but then when you grip the fossil and the clutch and stuff, um, there's space for it. It doesn't tighten up on your knuckles, which I quite like. So I'm just sitting here chatting like I know what I'm talking about. I have not got a clue by the way. And these were, I believe 50 pounds. I don't think that's that bad to be honest because they're proper leather. They've got the carbon fiber on the knuckles and they go with my theme so i am i'm not mad i really like them okay now we're on to the most exciting part itchy head 
most exciting part for me was my helmet because it was the first thing I looked for. When I started this little journey a couple of weeks ago, I thought the first thing I'm going to decide on is my helmet. Now originally I decided for the complete opposite of what I've got. However, I am so happy with what I've got. It will go with the bike and I feel like a stormtrooper. So without further ado, I'm so excited for this. So here is the box. I picked up the Kberg Duke 2 in pearl white. Now, um, I picked this one mainly because my boyfriend's dad really rates Kberg. He has, he's had his Kberg for absolutely years. And secondly, I was on the Sharp website and I was looking for the ones that were rated five star Sharp. This one came up and I fell in love. Now, since then, I've been taught and have learned that sharp ratings are a little bit biased and it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, however, it's it's safe. It's been given a five star for a reason. It's exactly what I want and my boyfriend's dad rates the company, so I'm quite happy. Um, and it was in budget, so yeah let me show you the inside i think all helmets come with a dust bag but this is the dust bag that it comes with are you ready <laughs> i'm so i am so excited i cannot tell you how excited i am this is the first thing that's really really excited me in a good couple of years so i am buzzing to to get this bike and just to ride it i'm so excited so that is the helmet that I've picked up, the Kberg Duke 2. Um, they've already put the pin lock in there for me. It is a flip front helmet, so it's not only a full face like that, but you can also you can also flip the front up and it's legal to ride like that if you wanted to. I actually quite like this because apparently you don't have to take them off when you are petroling um, because they can see your face. It also comes with inbuilt internal visors. There we go. Um, you've obviously got your vents on the top, so there we go. You've got a vent, where are they? So you've got your little air vents down here for breathability, because um, that one's important, isn't it? absolutely love this. I absolutely love it. Let me go put this on, I'll be right back, see you in a sec. I've actually had to undo the window because this is baking, but here is the jacket on. Um, I'll show you the back. So the elbow pads are in the right place, the shoulder pads are absolutely fine. I know I said that it's a men's, but it is a men's small and the only difference really is how the fitting of it, um, but it is absolutely fine. Um, yeah, it is bloody warm in here though, it is absolutely warm, baking. I will show you the jeans and the boots on, but I'll have to move the camera and I'll do that in a sec. Then you just put it down. Oh. I look like a little hamster. <laughs> so this is what I mean by it. it's got the internal sunglasses. So if I'm in traffic or whatever, I don't know, I can just put them down. So I'll move the camera so you can see the boots and stuff, but this is basically all of the top half on the gloves, the helmet. The jacket, I am sweating. So again, I can't really show you this very well, but they're the boots. They tuck into the jeans really nicely. They're really comfortable to walk on. Um, and I overall, I really, really like all of this put on together. So hopefully it keeps me nice and safe. I need to take this off now before I pass out. See you in a sec. And there we have it, guys. That is my beginner kit that I've bought in order to just kind of get through my CBT and do me for maybe the first couple of years as riding because I'm only going to be on a 125. Um, I don't want to buy anything drastically expensive because I know that I'm bound to fall off, I'm bound to hurt myself and I'm bound to damage my, my PPE. So I want it to be a little bit more careful with the price but also fully protected. So I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new and you've not yet done so, please consider subscribing. I do mainly do makeup, fashion stuff. I will also be doing some bike stuff. So it won't be a lot, but there will be 
there will be bike stuff so i would really really appreciate if you could hit that sub button if you wanted to if you don't want to that's absolutely fine have a great day anyway stay safe stay happy stay smiling remember that you are loved and you are worth it and i cannot wait to see you in the next youtube video until then love you bye